If you're looking for the best down jacket for backpacking, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Marmot Women's Quasar Nova Hoodie. The Quasar jacket by Marmot has been on the market for many years already. This Nova appeared a year ago with some modifications. This is a premium 800 fill goose down insulation jacket that delivers great warmth while being incredibly compressible and lightweight. It weighs only 10 ounces, 283G, hard to believe. The shell is a 20D nylon with horizontal baffles, so this partly behind such a great weight. You have an attached insulated hood with elastic binding. The hem is with an elastic draw cord hem, and the cuffs are also with elastic. The fit is regular and with what they call the angel wing construction, a patented design that provides more fabric on the back for a non-restricted movement. The center back length is 24.5 inches, 62 cm. The Marmot Women's Quasar Nova hoodie is suitable for hiking, climbing, backpacking, snow sports. Moving on to the next at number two with Montane Women's Featherlight Down Jacket. This lightweight Montane Featherlight Down Jacket looks similar to the Quasar Jacket above, but here you have a 750 fill water resistant Hyper DRY Down. This is a hydrophobic treated down that keeps its insulation and loft if it gets wet. They claim it is responsible down standard, RDA certified. The outer shell is a lightweight 100% windproof Perdix Quantum Ripstop Nylon with a superior DWR. So this is not a fully waterproof fabric just to know. The hood is a rollaway type, with adjustability on the sides and on the back. This jacket has three pockets in total, two zippered hand pockets, and one internal chest pocket with a Velcro closure. Note that it comes with its own stuff sack. Note that the zippers are YKK. The jacket is with a full-length zipper and articulated sleeves. The hem is with a draw cord, and this is an active fit that allows for layering underneath it. The average back length is 25.2 inches, 64 cm. The jacket is most suitable for hiking, backpacking, climbing, and snow sports. The number three position is held by Mountain Hardware Stretch Down Jacket for Women. If you are curious what is so special about this jacket, here it is. The baffles which you see in the picture are not made by stitching. They are welded instead. So although it may look just like any down jacket, it is in fact rather technical. You have down that is water resistant, baffles are unique, and as the name suggests it is stretchy. The shell is 100% polyester dynamic stretch knit. Because it is stretchy, it does not have to be oversized to fit you perfectly. So it does not constrict your movements. It simply moves with you. They have welded the baffle so that the stretchiness is preserved. With stitching this would not be so. Because of such a technology, there are no holes in the fabric and plumes will not start coming out. The insulation is a lightweight and compressible Q Shield 750 fill power down. Being treated, it retains its insulating features even when wet. The fill is fluffy and it is kept inside the welded channels, so the body heat is preserved and trapped. The cuffs are elastic, and the hem is as usual with the draw cord. The jacket has five pockets and those include two zippered hand pockets, one zippered chest pocket, and two interior pockets. The jacket is currently available in seven different colors. All in all, this is an active fit with 25 inches center back length a jacket for hiking, snow sports, and for casual use. Next at number four, we have Outdoor Research Women's Alpine Down Hooded Jacket. This or Alpine jacket is designed for extreme conditions and as an outer layer. I think it is too bulky for any other use. It looks bulky, but here you have a premium 800 fill power goose down insulation and this means it is very compressible and lightweight. It weighs only around 17 ounces, 482 G. It is also nicely packable, and indeed it packs into its own left-hand pocket. In such a state, you can use it as a pillow in the camp. The shell is the 15D Perdix Quantum Y-Fuse Nylon in the main body, and the 30D Perdix Quantum Pro is used on the upper parts, on the sleeves, and on the hood. The jacket is water and wind-resistant and with dynamic reach underarm panels. The hood is completely adjustable and helmet-compatible, with an integrated cord lock on the back. With this, you can reduce the center back neck up to 4 inches, 10 cm. The cuffs are with Velcro tabs and in as usual. You have a draw cord on the hem. There's a storm flap behind the full-length two-way front zipper. In fact, it looks more like a draft tube in a sleeping bag. 
The number five position is held by Outdoor Research Women's Floodlight Down Parka. This or Floodlight Down Parka is exceptional in several ways, but let me stress first that this is fully waterproof and insulated as well. This is due to its shell material, which is a two-layer Perdix shield, 100% nylon 30D ripstop. This is a breathable but waterproof material. But note also that there is no stitching. The baffles which you see in the picture are not stitched but bonded. So this is everything but an ordinary down jacket. However, different pieces of the jacket are naturally indeed stitched together, like arms that are stitched to the jacket's body. But there you have all stitching zones taped for full protection. The insulation is a premium 650 fill power goose down. This is a parka so it weighs around 20 ounces, 567 G, so it is still very lightweight. The hood is helmet compatible, insulated, fully adjustable, and equipped with a wire brim. The front zipper is a two-way type so you can open it from any side. And this is suitable because of the length of the jacket. They use the best quality YKK Aqua Guard Vislon zippers. There is an internal storm flap behind the front zipper. The number six position is dominated by Outdoor Research Women's Transcendent Down Parka. This Outdoor Research Women's Transcendent Town Parka comes with a 650 fill down insulation, the same type which you have seen in their floodlight jacket above. This jacket has been around for many years already. But in this new collection, the shell fabric is changed, so the shell is a 100% polyester 20D ripstop, wind and water resistant but not waterproof. The hood is fully adjustable and with the draw cord on the back. You have three pockets here, two zippered hand pockets with a pleasant brush lining, and one internal zipper chest pocket. It packs into its own pocket. The main front zipper is a two-way type and with an internal storm flap. The cuffs are with elastic. Moving on to the next at number seven with Rab Women's Microlite Alpine Jacket. This Rab Microlite Alpine Jacket has been around for at least a decade already. But here you have the new version of it and it is better than ever. You have four panels now, one on the front, one on the back and two on the sides. It fits better and it is warmer now. The insulation is a lightweight and very compressible 750 fill ethically sourced European goose down, 135G, 5 Oz in the size 12. This is a fluorocarbon free hydrophobic down Nikwex treatment. The shell is an ultra lightweight Perdix quantum fabric, wind and water resistant and breathable nylon material. The hood is fully insulated and you can use it over the helmet. If you use it just on the head, it will fit nicely because of an elastic on the back. It has a built-in brim. Two draw cords for adjustment are on its sides. The number eight position is held by Sierra Designs Women's Sierra Jacket. The Sierra Designs Sierra Jacket for women is filled with a high quality 800 fill dry down. This is a down with a unique, innovative polar application that creates a hydrophobic finish on each individual plume of down. As a result, you have an insulation that stays dry 10 times longer and dries 30% faster than untreated down. In addition to this, such a treated down retains two times more loft than untreated down. The shell is a 40D polyester ripstop, lightweight but strong enough to protect the insulation. The liner is very soft and pleasant next to the skin. There are four pockets, two zippered hand pockets, one secret external chest pocket, and one large inner kangaroo pocket. Note that the jacket stows into one of the hand pockets. Next at number nine, we have Sierra Designs Women's Whitney Jacket. This Sierra Designs Women's Whitney Jacket is with the same 800 dry down power down fill, so these features are the same as in the Sierra Jacket shown above. But from the picture, you realize that you have a generously insulated hood as well. The jacket is lightweight enough to be used under a rain shell jacket, but it is definitely warm enough to be used as a standalone external layer. Note that it is not waterproof. The shell material is a 40D shadow rip polyester. The liner is nylon. There are four pockets here, two zippered hand pockets, one zippered chest pocket, and one internal kangaroo pocket. It stows in one of the hand pockets. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Big Agnes Women's Shovel Head Hooded Jacket. This jacket comes with a 700 fill down tech insulation, which is a treated down with all weather reliability and great compressibility. This is a down with a hydrophobic finish applied to each individual plume of the down used in the fill. With this, the down stays dry longer, and it also dries faster than untreated down if it gets wet. It also retains 98% of its loft, and this implies that it maintains its warmth. In order to increase its thermal features, they apply what they call the Insodic Flow Design. It eliminates cold spots and offers a better heat distribution, and it regulates the movement of the down inside the baffles. They use the flow gate construction, which prevents lateral and vertical down shifting. 
so you have chambers with gates that keep the down in place. The shell fabric is a nylon ripstop, and you also have the insulated hood with the same material. The jacket has a storm flap behind the front full-length zipper, and the hem is with a draw cord hem. Note also that you have integrated thumb holes visible in the picture above. That's all for today. We upload fashion product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.